There are a lot of things people can do around their house to slow down the water so it doesn't get as quickly as possible to the storm drain. And one of those things is to put in a downspout disconnection. Traditionally, you'd have roof runoff come down a downspout and basically discharge right into a driveway or a walkway and just run right off into the gutter system. So it's kind of a direct connection from roof to the, to the gutter system. The stormwater runoff ends up running into storm drains and gutters from where it goes to rivers and streams and they roll on down to the ocean. So our streams, our rivers get polluted, our beaches get polluted, and the ocean gets polluted. There, there's so much wasted water um, and the fixes are so easy. There's, um, there's catchment systems where instead of the rain just going off of your roof, you direct that water either into your garden or into rain barrels where the water's stored. One of the best things you can do is what we call disconnecting the downspout. Rain chains and rain barrels are devices that homeowners can put in their house. What the homeowner usually likes is the fact that these uh, allow them to use the water as a resource, maybe cutting down on their bills with the water utility company, but it also looks good. Getting water from your roof into a rain barrel is simple. If you have a gutter system, all you need to do is disconnect the long pipe running from your gutter to the sewer system or street and redirect it into a rain barrel for later use, or replace it with a rain chain. A rain chain is a great way to get rain from your roof into a rain barrel or catchment system. A rain chain, which is simply a chain coming off the, the roof and basically discharging into a barrel, and that can be stored for later use. A rain chain can be hooked into an existing gutter system by removing the downspout and putting in a plastic or metal rain chain holder that snaps into your gutter. If you don't have a gutter, the attachment can also be placed by itself in a corner of an eave. The easiest and cheapest way to store water coming off a roof is in a rain barrel. Home improvement stores often sell rain barrel kits complete with the barrel and downspout disconnection, but you can easily make one yourself out of materials found at any hardware or home improvement store. You'll also need a faucet, garden hose adapter, washers, bolts, nuts, wire mesh, tools, gloves, and safety glasses. Wearing safety glasses and gloves, take a plastic cutter and cut a one-foot hole into the top back of your garbage can or barrel. You can also use a jigsaw to cut the hole. This is where your disconnected downspout or rain chain will direct the water. To keep bugs and debris out, you'll need to put wire mesh over the hole. Using a drill with a small bit, drill two small holes on each side of the square, back far enough so that the bolt and washer will fit and be supported by the plastic lid. Place a washer and bolt into each hole and push the bolts through the wire mesh. Now it's time to put in the overflow valve, which should be placed about one inch below the top of your barrel. Use a 7 8 butterfly drill bit and drill to create the hole. Take a metal water hose adapter and a conduit nut and place the adapter through the hole, making sure the threads for the hose face out the front. Place the conduit nut on the part of the adapter facing inside the barrel and tighten down. Lastly, again using the 7 8 butterfly drill bit and drill, create another hole, this time about 6 inches from the bottom of the barrel. There are a variety of spigots to choose from. All have the same size mount, so use a three-quarter inch washer to hold it in place. Turn the rain barrel on its side and put a 5 8 by 2 neoprene gasket and a half-inch galvanized steel nipple on the part of the faucet inside the barrel. You're now ready to screw in a hose so that you can water your garden with the water you've collected in your barrel. If you find your barrel is getting full and it's still raining, you can use your overflow valve to connect the hose to another rain barrel. This is called daisy chaining. One of the things about using a, a river-friendly and ocean-friendly landscape or really trying to, to incorporate those sorts of design into your landscape is you are, you're saving water in the long run. I mean, you're not only able to store that roof runoff for later use, but also by choosing an appropriate plant palette that's adapted for our climate, that's also going to result in a huge water saving. California is basically a, a desert, and I, I feel guilty, like, wasting water catchment systems. They're so easy and they're so inexpensive to do and they're quick fixes. I think the thing to remember is that when we work together we can achieve great things. We can transform neighborhoods. 